Hello everyone. I want to welcome you to something new that I am starting right here in Virgo season. Why not? Because my birthday is in a couple of weeks. So what I am starting and what I would like to welcome you to is Spiritually Fly Sunday, The Word. That's right. It's called The Word. And it is based upon my new book, Spiritually Fly. And the format for Spiritually Fly Sunday is that I will read a very small passage from my book, talk about a little bit, uh, a little bit about it. But what I will be reading is actually the theme or was the theme or the foundation for my Soul Prince class, which is available live stream every Sunday at 11 a.m. And you can also practice it live where I am now, live here in my studio at Embrace Yoga DC. So let's just jump right in because this is gonna be a short, sweet video. Again, this is coming from my new book, Spiritually Fly, Wisdom, Meditations, and Yoga to Elevate Your Soul. And today's Spiritually Fly Sunday word is coming from Sutra 3, which all of my chapters are not labeled as chapters, they're labeled as sutras. It's coming from Sutra 3, Face Your Demons with Compassion and Bravery. And again, this was the theme for my soul print class that happened at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. This is on page 66, so for those of you that have the book, you'll be able to open that up and read it as well. Page 66, the section is called The Demon of Shame. From birth to adulthood, we regulate our behavior based on external responses and our self-worth is created through imprints on the mind by our experiences. For example, when we express ourselves as children, we are either praised or punished. The behavior is placed in a category of good and bad. In addition, we observe the behavior and actions of others and notice the reactions they receive from our parents slash caregivers, other adults, and even our classmates. What we perceive as bad or good takes shape in the subconscious and unfolds in the form of shame when we would behave or engage in that manner. Yes. It all comes back to family, friends, and media. I'm not casting blame. I'm simply identifying why we respond in certain ways and make the choices about our lives that we do. Facing the shame reveals a clear picture of our patterns and gives us the strength to move in a direction based on our beliefs and values. It also creates an emotional foundation for personal work. So that is the word for today. That is Spiritually Fly, the word for Sunday. And before I jump off, I just want you to close your eyes and think about something. I'd like for you to just think about one of those moments during your childhood where you felt a sense of shame or discomfort or embarrassed by your actions. Maybe it's the way that you responded to something, the way that you behaved. And instead of an adult or someone else giving you space and room to express yourself, you were immediately put down shamed or that behavior was belated and identified as bad. Maybe the adult didn't speak to you in a way that was loving, caring, nurturing, or 
supporting, but instead created this sense of fear in you and that sense of fear resulted in you hiding that aspect of you or shielding that aspect of you as you became a teenager and maybe that layer of shame, fear, or even that shadow side of you still sits with you as an adult. So wherever you are right now, know that you are in a safe space to just simply examine that. Know that you are in a safe space to breathe into that moment. You are in a safe space to breathe into that trigger and know that you can work on it. Self-examination is a powerful tool. And by simply meditating, by simply working on it through breath, sometimes through movement, through journaling, through even talking it out with a friend or a therapist can support you in your healing. So whatever that aspect is within you, Take a deep breath in, exhale and know that it is not you. It is a moment in time. And for order, in order for you to reprogram that, to reset it, it takes a little work. And maybe today is that first step. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. And again, today is a new thing that I am starting. It is Spiritually Fly Sunday, The Word. And if you don't already have my book, go out and get it. That's the kind of stuff that's in here. Um, we're not playing. And today's word came from Sutra 3, Face Your Demons with Compassion and Bravery, page 66. Thank you so much, guys. And oh, actually, before I jump off, if you do have any questions, I want you to please DM me or add them to any of my posts, add them to this post later when I share this on my feed, because what will happen is that over the next couple of weeks throughout the rest of the year, I'm just feeling very called to do this, is to actually jump on from time to time and do Q and A's. So the cues, the questions, the what's, the why's, the who's, the how's will come from you guys and then I will answer those questions live. And I'll do it as much as I possibly can and I'll start it in a couple of days. So jump into my DM, send me any questions. Please, 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 please um, add any of your questions or thoughts or just maybe concepts that you're like, you know, I'm always curious about this. And trust me, Nothing is off the table. This book, Spiritually Fly, is a lifestyle book. It is not just a yoga book. So, as you can tell from this particular video, so feel free to ask any questions you may have. And I will do my very best to answer them. Um, and then, before I jump off, I just want to say thank you to everyone. And there is actually, there are two questions. Ah, oh, thank you, Stuart. Stewie Styles <laughs> responded to the question. No, the book is not on um, audio yet, but hopefully that'll be coming really soon. However, these Spiritually Fly Sunday, the word is actually just a little taste 
Yeah. So if you go over to my website, faithhunter.com, you can order the book. There are so many places to order it from, whatever suits your, your pocket and your wallet and where you'd like to spend your funds. So go over and do that. And yeah, have a beautiful, amazing, lovely, and divine Sunday. And of course, stay spiritually fly. Namaste, everybody. Ciao.